Hello everybody, my name is Mark Therrien from Keeneland Hospitality here and Super Bowl is almost here. So we thought we would share uh, my coveted chili recipe. You'll notice that everything is all set up and it looks, it looks great, but this is actually how I do cook. The reason why we do this is because you want to be organized. The, the more organized you are, the better this dish is going to come out. Um, so this chili here is a, 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 I call it the trifecta chili. It's, it, it's got three meats in it. Once you have this recipe mastered, you can put any meat you want and substitute. But this is what we picked today, and I'm going to go through the steps. So the first thing you really want to do is you, you want to get a good stock pot. This one's got a nice heavy bottom. The reason why you want to do this is a chili is a slow cooker. It, it takes a long time on the stove, and you want, to, you want to even out that heat. And the thick bottom pot does that for you. Um, so it diffuses that heat very, very well. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is um, I've got one pound of ground beef. This is 80-20. I brown it first and then I chill it. Just because I like to get things done the day before so when I actually cook I can just put things together and it comes a lot easier because I've got other things to do. So one pound of ground beef, in the pot it goes. I've got one pound of ground Italian sausage, in the pot it goes. I've got a pound and a half of kielbasa with uh, probably a half inch dice on that. Um, we're going to put that right in, right on top. Next thing we're going to put in is our onions. I've got an onion and a half. It's, it's a yellow onion. Um, it's a sweet yellow onion, really, but it's about an onion and a half. We're going to put that right in. Make sure you get it all gets in there. We can mix this afterwards. Um, we want our chili. So I like serrano chili. Um, this is probably maybe six or seven uh, serrano chilies. It's up to you how many you want to put in. The more you put in, the more heat you're going to get. I keep the seeds in this one, and I, I also do a rough chop, so I, I want to be able to see that chili at the end. But uh, I like my chili a little spicy, so that's why we're going to put this many in. All right, so next thing we're going to do is tomato. Now, tomato, you'll find a lot of recipes are using the canned tomato. I find a fresh tomato makes a world of difference. I mean, a world of difference. This is where a lot of your moisture is going to come from, but there's nothing better than fresh. I use a Roma tomato. They're washed, and I just do a real a good one-inch dice on them. I keep all the seeds, um, and we're going to put that right in. Uh, okay, at this point, we're going to kind of stir this up, just trying to get everything mixed up. It's a lot easier because as you fill up the pot, you don't want to make a big mess over your counter or stove. So we kind of want to mix up these ingredients, just like so. And you can see all those fresh ingredients. It's, you know, what you put in is what you're going to get out. Um, all right, that's mixed up pretty good. Next thing I'm going to put in is my black beans. Um, depending on your time, I've used canned black beans that are drained. Just four hours is not enough time to, to cook a whole, uh, a, a, a dry bean. So in it goes. Uh, and then the final vegetable will be garlic. I put whole garlic in there for several reasons. The garlic is a slow releaser and think about it, it, it imparts that garlic flavor slowly through but also it's a good indicator that your chili is done when the garlic is soft. So that, that is kind of my that's, my, that's my telltale sign and all my chili is, is ready to go. I'll, I'll, with my spoon I'll take out a piece of garlic if it's really soft in pillowy, I know that the, the chili's pretty close. And then when you stir the chili, it'll break up into the chili. So whole garlic is key. And then you'll notice that I've got my seasoning at the last thing that I do. So for this, um, you can. There's plenty of good chili packet seasonings at the grocery store. This is what this is. Um, I mean, they've got everything you need in there already. I have a couple other ones I'll add just because I want a little more flavor uh, tones in there. But for a rule of thumb, I'll do one packet per pound of meat that I've got. Uh, so that's really what I've got here. So I've got three uh, chili packets for the three pounds of meat that I've got in here. So just put it on top. I know that that's enough spice because I've just done this a few times. So you won't, you won't make this too crazy. Um, I like cumin in my, in my chili. I think uh, it, it really imparts a really good flavor. So I, I put extra cumin in, and so I'm gonna put that on top. I've got another ingredient here, and it's curry powder. Now, I don't want this to be a curry, but I, I, I you know, it, as you learn your spice blending, 
different spices will elevate it in different ways. So I'm gonna put a little bit of curry. I'm not gonna put all this curry in here. I'm probably gonna put about a tablespoon and a half of curry in here. What that's gonna do is it's gonna wake everything up in a great way, but you're not gonna taste curry when you eat the chili. If you taste curry, you put too much, right? It, but it will change the dynamic. So probably a tablespoon and a half, and that's probably there. Um, now you notice I did not add salt, and I will not add salt until almost the end. Because salt is one of those things you can never take it out once you put it in. Is uh, you know you have the the ground sausage, you got the ground meat, uh, the kielbasa. There is salt content in that, so it's better to let this simmer, let all those flavors marry, and then you add salt as you need it, and and that way you'll have a, a, a very well balanced seasoned chili. Um, I will not add any water to this because there is a lot of water weight in these tomatoes. That is where your liquid's gonna come from. So it's better than just water. It's not the whole flavor profile on there. And you're, you're gonna see where, you go, you'll see when you're done with this recipe. You can see it's a very simple recipe to do. Um, again, you can do this all a day ahead if, if you've got the time. And um, so when it comes time to put the chili, just put it all in, put it on your stove at, at medium heat and go for about four, four, it takes about four hours to, to do it right. You can go six hours, even seven hours. Um, the longer you go, the better it is. And actually, the next day after you chill it, it's even better because those flavors marry. But the tomatoes will still be a little chunky in there, but they're gonna be, they're gonna melt just perfect into the chili. So that is the trifecta chili. It's gonna be great on a Super Bowl. Um, good luck and have, have a great Super Bowl.